a year that I have recorded a video, but I'm going to do that more often, I promise you. I've just been really busy, but today we're going to work on creating a PDF file with our book covers for our Easter book covers or any other book cover that you want to use for KDP. So here we go. So I've created these uh, children coloring book book covers, which will be available on Etsy if you would like to uh, make a purchase. Each page has um, edible files, meaning you can edit the background color, change it to whatever color you want. Actually, I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this, but you can change the color to whatever you want. For example, like so. And let's see this color. Yeah, don't make a fool of me now here. Let's see. <laughs> Gonna change these colors. Yeah, there we go. Change that color. Okay. So we'll have colors like this, for example, right? And then I'll probably change this bottom piece to green. Okay, you could change your fonts, uh, the color of your fonts as well. Uh, we go into effects and we can choose that color. And let's see, effects, white. Effects is something new that Canva has uh, put into play. So, you could change the bunny as well. Uh, so, I made everything kind of easy for you guys just to make your changes, however you saw fit. Um, so, once again, I say have fun at this. Okay? So, anyways, now I've created my fun-looking um, book cover front. And then I have the back, so I want to also make this back um, color. Change it really quick because I want to show you how easy it is. It's just clicking and changing that color. Maybe I want to make this color. All right. And what do we do? We did black. Okay. So, I have my my front and my back done. And let's say on my back, I want to add a logo of some sort, right? Or you can add your um, pages, a couple of your sample pages for your coloring book. You can add that to the back as well. So, let's just for right now, we're going to put the word... Uh, stay fierce fearless I'm just gonna throw that in here just to create a little sample logo alright and we're done okay so we have our front and we have our back All right. we're gonna download page 2 and we're gonna download page 3 so we're gonna go to our downloads we're gonna download as PNGs alright we're going to go to select all pages and we want page two and page three we hit done and then we click download all right so that's downloading while that's downloading we can open up a new camera page and say create designs um, this is an eight and a half by eleven um, book cover so my dimensions for at least 60 pages is 17.39 by 11.25 for this coloring book it will have at least 30 pictures and then we'll have an extra blank page so that if the color bleeds through it won't get on the next page so say create design and now we have this rectangle so what we'll do now is um, we want to know what was this called. This was called 
copy of copy. All right. So we're going to go to our uploads. We're going to upload from our download files copy of copy. So, so we're going to take both of them, highlight both, and say upload. uploads we're gonna click the bunny we're gonna move the picture all the way to the right side of the screen take the little rolling ball here the little ball and we're just gonna pull it till it stops all right then we're gonna do the same thing uh, now we're gonna do it to the left click the picture move the picture all the way to the corner and then we're going to pull until it stops okay and there will be a little bit of overlap and what I like to do is just take the um, right side and position it uh, to the top okay so now we have our front we have our front and we have our back and then we just say download but now we're going to download as PDF print and we'll say download and that is how you create your front and back cover using Canva so that's what it's gonna look like for us so some will ask me why did I set the page up uh, this way and the reason is let's go back to the page that we created I like to be able to center my work so in order to make sure that it's centered I'll just create the front and the back page you see that hard line here so that lets me know that pink little hard line lets me know that everything is centered same here there it is centered and this is centered so once I know that then I'm gonna just you know create my my book that way I, I don't want uh, things being out of line um, and what I've noticed that when I would create the other way just um, creating and using the uh, this way then I wasn't sure if I was too close to the edge and I want to stay within my margins because also with Canva you can put in margins and you can put in bleed but what I've noticed with KDP their bleeds are just a little bit off so with that from one end to the other end one end to the other end there we go and there you have it so this is how if you notice that I'm really close in my space you can go a little bit out of the margin line but it looks good and all we have to do is just print so there you have it uh, stay tuned you guys for new stuff I greatly appreciate you guys I'm gonna be putting up more things um, in the, the near so once again you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for visiting real stuff in the club bye bye